Cabinet early this week approved the implementation of the 21st East African Community Summit Directive in Uganda to adopt Kiswahili as an official language of the community. <laughs> According to Minister of ICT and National Guidance, Dr. Chris Waliomonsi, Cabinet further recommended that the teaching of Kiswahili language in primary and secondary schools should be made compulsory and examinable. In the schools, but it is optional. It is optional. And now the move that we took was to make the teaching of Swahili compulsory and examinable. And through that, that's how our children, our young people, will be able now to understand and know Swahili. That's how we all speak English. Addressing the media, the Ministry of Education and Sports officials expressed readiness to implement the directive. The ministry officials revealed that they have all that it takes to roll out the Kiswahili language in schools across the country. Under the new lower secondary curriculum, and you are aware you have been putting and following up education matters, that Kiswahili is one of the compulsory subjects that is being learned by children as we talk now, and the teachers... Uh, about 700 teachers were recruited last year to teach in government schools. Uh, on the, we, we, on the, with the, in the context of the curriculum development and materials, the government was able to support the development. First of all, the primary school curriculum for Kiswahili is available. And it is one of the subjects when the rollout was coming in 2017, one of the subjects that was developed was Kiswahili. But it was revised last year to update it and bring in new emerging issues. So we have the curriculum for primary Swahili. And of course we have the curriculum for secondary, lower secondary and even A level. Swahili is one of the core subjects. And all the teachers we bring out, who are over 64,000 teachers, we have brought out since 2014. For about eight years we have been producing teachers who are supposed to go and teach in the primary schools, and one of the subjects they are supposed to teach is Kiswahili. And you cannot qualify and register as a teacher when you have failed Kiswahili, because one of the core papers you must pass and be able to go out as a teacher and register as a teacher in the Ministry of Education. So we have enough teachers, given the number of schools that we have. We have over 64,000 primary school teachers who are supposed to be able to teach Kiswahili in primary school at primary school level against 58,000 schools, meaning that if you are going to go with a ratio of one teacher per school, we are over and above. The compulsory teaching of Kiswahili, however, has some financial implications to learners and parents, as Dr. Mjimba, the Minister of Education spokesperson, explains. When you talk of PLE, the, what's the current fee rate for PLE? 36,000? Now, that is for four examinable subjects. So you can say that each paper is at a rate of around 9,000 shillings. Of course, if you bring up a, a fifth compulsory subject, it means you probably are going to add on another 9,000 shillings. So, and this has an implication also on government's resource envelope. It has an implication on uh, private students who have to pay for UNEP fees, ETC. So we have to look at the total picture of uh, implementing Swahili as a compulsory subject. The adoption of Kiswahili comes after the African Union adopted Kiswahili as one of its official working language three months after the United Nations on November 23, 2021, designated July 7th as the World Kiswahili Language Day. <laughs> Rachel Nachuala reporting for the news. Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.